Greetings, guys. We are going to talk about fuel prime during crank today. Uh, so this this question comes from uh, Jesse in Wisconsin. I'm going to read his email here, and then uh, and then we're going to talk about this. So it says, uh, "Hi, Matt. I think I've watched all your videos on YouTube, but I don't recall this. Uh, does the A9L give a priming pulse with the fuel pump prime uh, when the ignition is turned on? Tuner Studio with Mega Squirt uses this." Uh, Holly does also. I was wondering if it's sort of a band-aid or if uh, OE manufacturers actually do this as well. So, uh, yeah, and I know I know for a fact Jesse uses uh, Mega Squirt stuff on his system. I've helped him with it a little bit. But uh, so what he's talking about is there's there's this concept in, in a lot of these standalone systems called uh, fuel priming, and don't don't let that get confused with uh, like your your fuel pump priming. So, you know, pretty much every system, when you first turn the key on, it has to kick on the fuel pump, and that fuel pump's got to circulate a little bit, uh, or else it's not going to build any pressure to get to the injectors, and, you know, it'd be really hard to start the car. So, you know, most people know about that, that the fuel pump's going to run for a few seconds, you know, different systems can control that length also. Uh, but that's just there to sort of build pressure, and then ultimately, if your regulator's doing its job and your, your fuel pump has a check valve in it, It'll, you know, hold the pressure in the lines and, you know, then when you go ahead and crank the car, it's got fuel, it starts quick. But that's on the fuel pump side. What he's talking about is actually the injectors uh, putting forth what's called a priming pulse. So the idea is that, you know, you, you might know how much fuel your car needs to start generally. So you need a, a certain pulse with the fuel and it'll just kind of keep injecting that throughout the cranking cycle until it finally catches. But the, the priming pulse is a special pulse that's just a single pulse in each injector right when you start cranking uh, so that it'll dump extra fuel to wet the basically wet the runners and, and try to get it to start a little bit quicker um, and that's what he's talking about so question is is that just uh, you know a standalone thing or is that something OE manufacturers do well I can't speak to a lot of OE manufacturers I work with Ford pretty much exclusively uh, and within that, you know, pretty much the, the early EFI small block Ford stuff and then a little bit of the Coyote stuff. Um, I'm a little fuzzy on most of the strategies in between, haven't spent a lot of time on them. But such a thing does exist in the Fox body strategies even now. Ford didn't use it, but the settings are there. And I want to show that to you. So like in the Holly, as an example, you turn this setting on or off. And then you're just picking uh, basically a percent. So whatever fuel you normally need during cranking it's just a multiplier on top of that, and it gives you one pulse with this extra fuel, and then it goes back to the normal fuel. Let's flip over here to uh, quarter horse binary editor setup. So this is a stock A9L calibration. And this is what most people uh, that have watched my videos know about, because this is something you really need to set. So overall, the amount of fuel you need is based on coolant temp. Whatever your coolant temperature is while you're cranking the engine, this is the pulse width measured in milliseconds that the injector is going to fire to get the car to start. And it's going to do this the entire duration while you're cranking. So even if you have to crank it for five seconds, which you shouldn't have to, but if you're just crank, 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 every single injector pulse would be this long. But there's this second function right here that takes whatever that number is that you've specified in the tune and it multiplies that based on time. And this time is a measurement of when you first start cranking. That would basically be your zero point. And then it's just counting seconds as you, you work forward as long as you're still cranking. So what, and I've done this actually in a lot of my tunes. So what I might do is something like this. I might put, you know, two seconds, one second, uh, you know, quarter second, an eighth of a second. Something like that. And, you know, you might do something like, uh, you know, 1.75. So we're essentially going to get 75% extra fuel right at the beginning of the crank that'll last for just an eighth of a second. So prob realistically, that might be a priming pulse. It might only last, you know, maybe one or maybe two, uh, you know, two revolutions through the cylinders. And then you can taper that off very quickly. And then maybe by, you know, one second in, you're just kind of doing the normal thing. But this is effectively, uh, you know, this is that that priming pulse that we're talking about. It's just kind of a more flexible way to do it because um, you can totally control a time-based map of, of what that's doing in addition to the normal parameters of just overall how much fuel do we need based on the coolant temp. 
Uh, so yes, uh, Jesse, to answer your question, and I know I'm using a lot of words like I always do, and I can't stop myself because uh, I drink a lot of coffee in the morning. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this this is a common thing. I mean, the, the settings are there. Um, other strategies, I'm sure, uh, have this and probably use this from the factory. You know, there's a, there's a lot of stuff in these early EFI uh, systems that, you know, it's like you could tell that there was some research and development going on. These engineers had these ideas, but, you know, maybe to meet timelines or whatever else, maybe they just kind of figured out that they could make that stock configuration work okay without it. So the settings are there. They just never got around to leveraging them for that particular vehicle. Um, you know, same thing like on these Fox bodies with like electric fans, you know, they had all the the controls there in, in the strategy. They just never turned it on and used it um, for those particular cars. So anyways, uh, I hope this helps. But uh, again, to answer your question, yeah, it is here. And uh, you, you can use it on the stock computer when you're tuning that. But Mega Squirt, Holly, and all the others uh, have a slightly less flexible way to do this, but it, it is there. So uh hope it helps. Good luck. Godspeed.